What is up, Cinepals? Welcome back. I'm Achara Cook, joined by Kristen Stephenson Pino. Hello. And mwah, we mwah. are checking out the, I guess it's, I was going to say 80s, but clearly it's a 90s movie, 1993, Demolition Man. I don't actually know anything about this. I film. don't know anything about it. I never even knew it existed, but I'm excited. Yeah. Because I like the, the people who are in Yeah. It. What is this? Sylvester Stallone and Wesley Snipes? Come on. Let's go. The police defrost an imprisoned ex officer to catch an escaped convict in 2032 Whoa. San Angeles. Okay, very. All right. We're catching up. Let's see how they portray us. I know. <laughs> it's always interesting. Anyway, you guys, if you want to watch the entire movie along with us without any cuts or interruptions, you can do that on our Patreon, patreon.com slash jabbykaway, or by becoming a member on the channel. Uh, you will need to have your own copy of the film. It's available on streaming. So it's easy to find. And then we'll tell you when to press play on your video. And then boom, it'll be like we're watching it together. Boom, bada bay. <laughs> I love that. Fun times. <laughs> anyway, if you're on YouTube, please don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon, all notifications, and upvote this video. Let's get into it. A maniac hijacked a municipal bus with 30 passengers on it. That's a pretty good reason. Oh, yeah, fair enough. Bad hunch where those passengers are. Where that maniac is. You want to share it with us? Phoenix. Simon Phoenix. Oh. Mm. Send a maniac to catch one. Takes one yep, to no one. Jumping. Wow. I wonder if he really did that. Yeah, I was wondering the same. Oh. Ah. Oh. I don't know if I'd jump in like that. I know. He's like exposed and everything. Yeah. Like that would have been really easy to kill him right there and then. Ooh. Oh, into Ooh. the fire? Oh, jeez. Ooh. <laughs> I thought he was going to come with some bolt cutters and, like, yeah, cut him you. down I, or something. I thought so, too. Last time, Phoenix. Where That's a cool hostages? name. To yeah. Hell with the oh, I, he's got, like, you and me. two Ooh. different colored eyes. I was trying to figure it out. I was like, oh, that's interesting. Yeah, I like that. He's going to drop that. Toy. Oh, dang. Ah. Are you fireproof? <laughs> Ow. Oh, he's crazy uh, he's, too. He's, he's like what? the Joker. He's giving me Joker vibes. Where are they, Phoenix? Now, where did I put him? <laughs> I swear, I'd lose my head if he wasn't attached. Oh, gosh, that's a lot of C4. Yeah. Boom. Oh, not yet. There we go. Dude, you saved this guy. Damn. <gasps> That's a big explosion, and that yeah. looks practical as well. The body's everywhere. There must be 20 or 30. They're everywhere. What? Oh, shit. You see that, Captain? I told him. He said he didn't care. Maybe they were already dead. Sit down! That's diabolical. You're not a lawyer. You better call. Oh. Uh-oh. That wasn't his fault, though. Was but, like, it? If they, if they were already dead, and then he blew up all yeah, the Yeah, they don't know if he They was... can't... They they can't find out the evidence, I guess. I know, they, they don't know if they were it. dead or not. But he didn't blow it up. Sergeant Spartan, you've been sentenced to 70 years sub-zero rehabilitation Whoa. in the California cryo penitentiary for the involuntary manslaughter. Hello, Sly. You will be placed in cryostasis for the duration of your sentence, during which your behavior will be altered through synaptic suggestion. What? You'll what? be eligible for parole no earlier than the year 2046. So he doesn't come back earlier. Yeah. That seems so weird, though. Like, what is... What are the... The ethics of altering someone's... I don't know. Personality, someone's behavior while they're in Cairo sleep. Ugh. Oh, it's slimy. That looks suck. Wow. Whoa. <laughs> I'm not only laughing because the smoke by just his kidding, just butt kidding. just right, made right, it look right. like he was farting. You see his... I'm sorry. Wait, did you? Yeah, you see the front. I didn't see it. I'm so upset. Wow. Oh. Oh, and then it's just like flash frozen. Keeps it fresh. Whoa. 
Oh, that would suck. That'd be so scary. Well, you're, you're, you know, you're, you're stuck under there for that long and your body's stressed out. <laughs> True. You didn't even get to go in calmly, you know? Yeah, they should have, like, made him sleep or something. Yeah. You realize you're setting a bad example for other officers and sworn personnel. Thank you for the attitude readjustment, Chief Earl. Info assimilated. Like, to me, it's just, like, I think it's amazing. I I'm, love it. I'm holding out for the second half of the movie. Okay, when okay. she, like... Sanctimonious asshole. Oh! There she is. There she is. Okay, okay, okay. Hold up, hold up. Maybe you're right. Hold up, hold up. Oh, uh-oh. How do you do that? Oh, maybe because the system got shut down? Oh, that's a fun kick. Well, I He's he's way ahead of his time. <laughs> oh no! He's totally giving me no. He's like going to do it in his eye. Uh, yep. No. Uh oh. Oh no. He's he oh, took good. out they... his eyeball. Oh. William Smithers. Ah. Beware. Ah. Oh. Wow. He's cold. Ugh. <sighs> My eyes hurt from that. Locate precise code fix on doctor's conveyance. Fixing location, Beverly Hills. That's scary in there, we'll do all that. Yes. Beverly Drive. Well, yeah, in, in this world, they can control everyone. They know everything. Greetings, citizen. How are you feeling on this glorious day? Yeah, well, I feel good, too. Angeles Information Network. How do you know how to use that? I don't know. Damn, I'm possessed. Oh. oh. Wonder Play the accordion too. Oh, maybe because he's been oh. learning the whole time, right? Yeah, while they're under. Mm hmm. Repeating in that gray, gray of yours, yours the, the name, name friendly. friendly. Edgar, 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 friendly. Don't, don't you have a job, job to oh. do? Oh, has he been don't like. Don't you have someone, someone to kill? Okay. Okay, so he put a target on this guy for some reason. See, he's been brainwashed. Is a fast too. <laughs> <laughs> Six of you, such nice, tidy uniforms. Oh, I'm so scared. What, you guys don't have sarcasm anymore? Huh. Maniac has responded with a scornful remark. Approach and repeat ultimatum in an even firmer tone of voice. Oh Add my the gosh. I'm done. Guys. I can't. But you know what? They're not really too off with this part. <laughs> <laughs> They're not too off. They're not too off. What is what's happening? Have you had? <laughs> the override code accepted. Lucky number seven. <gasps> oh. Okay. Uh, yeah, that's right, civilians. Run. Olay! <laughs> Olay! Police officers. His reaction is so good. Kind of violence? We're not <laughs> trained for this kind of violence. Yeah. Okay, Ochara. <laughs> <laughs> That's what, yeah, yeah, you know. <laughs> oh my god. Bang. Whoa. Whoa. She wanted action. Yeah, I mean, it's a very eventful day right now. It will be done, Dr. Cocteau. Everything in our power. <sighs> Good luck. You don't know how to handle this. Spartan is a legend. I've been doing a historical study for 1,000 arrests. Her play gun. He's a muscle-bound grotesque who hasn't worn a shield in 40 years. Simon Phoenix is an old-fashioned criminal. We need an old-fashioned cop. Yep. Mm-hmm. Max. Mm-hmm. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I do not see that. <laughs> I was like, it's a dark shadow. Yeah. <laughs> I wasn't, you know, so I, like, I, was, I was like, I was like. <laughs> <laughs> this man comes from a dissimilar method of law enforcement. I'm not sure he's any different than Simon Phoenix himself. Boom. That's going to open him up. I know. I thought, I thought he was going to be like, Simon Phoenix. Yep. Where is he? Alcohol, caffeine, contact sports, meat. Are you shitting me? <laughs> John Spartan, you are fined one credit for a violation of the verbal morality statute. Oh my god. <laughs> what the hell is that? 
John Spartan, you are fine. One bad language, chocolate, gasoline, energy. No chocolate. But then again, so is pregnancy if you don't have a license. Caveman, let's finish. Pregnancy is the... illegal too unless yeah. you have a license. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. They want to police our bodies. Yep. The conditions of your parole are full reinstatement into the SAPD and immediate. They're not far off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I remember when you were a snot nosed rookie pilot. Hey, finally grounded me. Ah, oh, from the beginning. Shit. Hey, you're a damn good pilot. Oh, no, he's gonna fly again. Yep. Yet he speaks to him in the most profane manner. Well, if you had read my study, you would know that this is how insecure heterosexual males just come. <laughs> oh, my I know that. Gosh. Thanks I a can't lot. I can't with <laughs> 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 Look, I hate to interrupt you two lovebirds, but that's really f***ing stupid. Do you think he wants to start a business? Phoenix is going for a gun, plain and simple. Who cares what this primate thinks? That's exactly what he's gonna do, though. The only place a person can even view a gun in this city is at a museum. Then uh, go to a museum. That's where he'll be. Yeah, he's gonna be right there, dummy. Home sweet home. Ooh. Ooh. Guns. It would be impossible for him to remove them. She's right. They're located in a maximum security armory exhibit. It's just a hunch, so trust me. It's a cop thing. And what am I, a frog? <laughs> yes. Yeah, well, you guys haven't been copying for a while. How do you get in here? Hey, hey, you gotta wait that 15-day waiting period? Or can I just, like, take one now? Oh! oh. Mother <laughs> <laughs> What seems to be your boggle? My boggle? Mm. Oh, bruh. 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 You're my boggle. He's got the key. How much do you weigh? Oh, gosh. Well, I happen to weigh 50. Oh, my. Oh. Well, that was easy. Yep. <laughs> yep, you're in the right place. You see that? What? Never mind. I give up trying to figure this place out. Excuse me, Rambo, I need to borrow this. Oh, oh. funny. That is funny. All museum patrons still occupying the facility should remain calm. Help is imminent. Whoa! Whoa. I'm a blast from the past! <laughs> Should've stayed there. Oh boy, that voice sounds familiar. Yeah. Who is that? Oh, unfair, unfair. Bad aim, Blondie. Spartan? Don Spartan? Oh shit, they let anybody into this century. What the hell are you doing here? You should be friends at this point. Come yeah. Y'all on. on the same same page. Play the frosted you just so you can lasso my piddly ass. Damn, you bitch. <laughs> He's so much fun. <laughs> uh. I love how you still can't figure out the other gun, though. Oh, yeah. Well, it says it takes 2.6 minutes, but I don't know if it, he's managed mm. to get power for it yet. Oh. That ground's gonna break. Ooh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah, you're right. He's gonna make it break. Oh, shit. Uh oh. Uh, that's fair. Fair is fair. Knock me down, knock you down. Yep. Class is over, John. Time for something new and improved. Oh, hell. Oh, yeah. Whoa. Holy shit. I love this gun. <laughs> I love this gun. Oh. How you like in the future, John? Oh. I love how you're smart enough to be like, hold on, we're in the future. Where's a futuristic Yeah, guns? yeah. What am I doing with these old school ones? <laughs> you're on TV. Oh, you're on TV. <laughs> They're just destroying all the yeah. museum. Oh, oh, old stuff. Oh, oh, you can, oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, the water, the water. Oh, the water. you. Oh, oh that hurt. That hurt. Oh, oh no. no, right for the gun? Oh. Come on. 
sir, the stress breeder is inside being demobilized as we speak. Stress breeder? Shit! Ah, oh, being frozen must have thrown my aim off. Don't uh, worry, oh. I'll get you with the next shot. It won't. Why? Oh, he's fake. Because he programmed him. He can't hurt him. Mm. No kiss kiss, no bang bang. And you were oh. doing so well. Now, don't you have a job to do? Oh my gosh. Yeah. Government. Yes. Government. Yeah, I do. Excellent. Then go and do your job. Wow. Shit. Yeah. Saved by the bell. Saved by the bell. He wasn't expecting them to throw John Spartan in the works. I wonder if he has control over him too, though. I doubt it because I feel like he he's a wild him. card. Like he wasn't expecting them to take take him out. Yeah. Now, in honor of your arrival and your protection of the sanctity of human life, namely my own, <laughs> I would like to invite you to join me to dinner tonight. Where he can take over your mind. Please. Yep. I would like you to accompany me to Taco Bell. Wow. What a treat. What an honor. He's like... <laughs> you see him? He's like... Yeah. He's like what? Mm, Taco Bell, really? It's basically Sprockets here, who's now the man in charge, the mayor of Gov, who wants to take me to dinner at Taco Bell. <laughs> He's so disappointed. <laughs> so disappointed. I have, in fact, perused some newsreels from the Schwarzenegger Library. <laughs> the Schwarzenegger Library? The Schwarzenegger Library? Yes, the Schwarzenegger Presidential Library. Oh my God. Wasn't he an actor when Stop. you- That's so close to real because he was the governor of California yeah, they're as well. Not, you know what? They're not far off. Yeah. This is trippy. Yeah. This is a little trippy. It really is. I'm sure they put it in there as like, oh, this is probably super outlandish and a joke, but it's like, you don't know how close to true that is you do not realize that taco bell was the only restaurant to survive the franchise wars so, oh my gosh so now all restaurants are taco bell what what that's so boring no he said no way wait so do they actually serve taco bell there We're or about is to it find just out. like other foods also fabulous dress sandy love the coat for taco bell is an occasion Oh, here comes the Neander Paul. Ah, Spartan over there, please. The costumes are so cool. Oh, that dress is awesome. Yeah. Hi. And the jacket on the lady behind her. Let's see her what is Taco so nice Bell's serving. Oh my gosh. Oh! Ah! Deconstructed Taco Bell. <laughs> this is, oh my gosh. You got the salt over there, Bob? Um, salt is not good for you, hence it is illegal. Salt isn't bad for you. No, it's actually good for it's you. It's good for you. Just don't eat too much. Yeah. In moderation. Everything's in moderation. Yeah. You would surely have died in jail before now. Even you must appreciate the persuasively tranquil humanity no. of the cryo. <laughs> I don't know how I'd feel about that. And my wife beating her fist against a block of ice that used to be her husband. Then you Ooh. were nice enough to wake me up and let me know everything that meant something in my life is gone. Wow. It would have been more humane to stake me down and leave me to the crows. Yeah. I think so. I agree with that. You were found guilty of criminal charges. You owed to call for backup. I'll be across the street. Dr. Spartan, where, where, are you, where are you going? Bad what? guy's about to do bad things. He's just one of those hunches he can. Yeah, he's a good cop. Like, he, he's good at his job. Mm. He's always, you know, got his eyes open, ears open. Well, there he is, Mr. Friendly. The food in the truck! Get the food truck. Oh, they're hungry. Yeah. So maybe they're not bad guys. I don't they're think, just, I I don't don't think, they're, I bad think guys. they're not bad guys. They're just rebels. You're going to regret this the rest of your life. Both seconds. Of food. Yeah, no, these guys are good guys. They're just yeah. starved. Because there's no middle class. So these are all the lower class people who are just starving and trying to fight to survive. Get them. Whoa. Hero. Take the food, go. Yep. 
Yeah, they're not a part of anything other than they're just hungry. Well, they're just a they're just a rebel group. That's why he uh, <laughs> wants them killed. He wants the leader yep. killed. Watch, he's gonna realize it right now. Yeah, he's just hungry. What the hell? Looks like there's a new shepherd in town. <laughs> you are even better live than on laser disc. And the joy, joy <laughs> way you pause to make a glib witticism before doing battle with that strangely weapon scrap in those roundhouse. <laughs> okay, she's doing a good job. Yeah, she she's portraying her role. She's doing a good job. I take back my... <laughs> my Your uh, earlier calm. assessment. Yes, I take it back. I take it back. She's on point with yeah. the way she's behaving. You know, I keep looking around and I think about my daughter growing up in a place like this. And I'm afraid she's going to think I'm some kind of primitive. I mean, as much as I want to see her, I almost don't want to. Because I don't think I'm going to fit into the picture very well. You're next to your daughter, see? It would be a minor misuse of police powers, but I... I could do a search no. for you. Oh. No, I don't think so, because she's too young. Yeah. His daughter would be like a little older. At least 36 or older. I'll need about five or six more special men. I wouldn't want you to defrost any of those mad dog killer types, you know what I mean? And none of them mother from New York. Yeah, you can't have too many. What do you want? Oh, gosh. Malibu. Santa Monica. Hell, what about all the coastal cities? <laughs> oh, my gosh. There is, of course, a well-known and documented connection between sex and violence. Okay. And after having observed your behavior this evening and... Where's she going with this? Oh, she's, she's like, I'm horny. Um, would you like to... I was wondering if you would like to have sex. Okay, it's not his daughter. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> American movies were not doing no, this in the 90s, no, I think. No, no, <laughs> Here. <laughs> now... Very mm -hmm. forward. That's normal back then. Oh, yeah. Or uh, there. <laughs> yeah. Super consensual. I love it. Oh my God, I bet their sex is different. The meaning of it is different. Oh my God, is it like this? Yeah, because they don't touch, remember? Oh, that's right, and they can't have babies. Yeah, they can babies. Yeah. That's a nice robe. Oh my God, what is... Or is it like... Or maybe they oh, have it's toys. all in their head. Shut up! No wonder it was so easy for her to do that. Oh, he gets a towel for his pee. Oh. <laughs> okay. What Begin in a few seconds. What? Begin oh, what? Having sex, of course. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, what is this? This is amazing. Oh. I mean, I think this could be fun, right? It's all in your head. Why not? He's gonna touch her and then like... <laughs> He's like... What's wrong? He broke contact. Con contact? I didn't touch her yet. <laughs> All right, obviously, what do you say we just do it the old-fashioned way? Ew, disgusting. <laughs> I mean... Bony, the, the wild mambo, the, the hunka chunka. <laughs> the hunka chunka? <laughs> The rampant exchange of bodily fluids was one of the major reasons for the downfall of society. After AIDS, there was NRS. After NRS, there was UBT. Oh my God! Not even mouth transfer is condoned. Kissing's not allowed. Wow. Damn, I was a good kisser. <laughs> we go to a lab. Fluids are purified, screened, and, and transferred by authorized wow. medical personnel only. It is the only legal way. Wow! What are you doing? Breaking the law. Ah, that was sexy. <laughs> just pick her up, put her on the table. Like, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'm just saying. No means no. She said True. no. I uh, yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. <laughs> I say they'll get it on by the end of this movie, though. Oh, for sure. He's gonna show her what's up, and she's gonna be like, her brain cells are gonna be like, ah, and like, explode. For each inmate, the computer draws up a skill or trade which best suits their genetic disposition. And it would implant the knowledge and the desire to carry out whatever training was assigned. Mm -hmm. So. Oh, a seamstress? <laughs> oh, that's just great. <laughs> Urban combat kill, torture methodology, computer override authority, survival tactics, mistake. terrorism tactics, weapons training, martial. Wow. Wow. No, John Spine, you do not accuse the savior of our city of being connected with a multi murder death killer like Simon Phoenix. It's rude. So. You're definitely not good at subtle. No. <laughs> You're called the demolition man. 
Enjoy your moment of prehistoric bravado, because after you leave here, it will be over. Return this man to cryostasis immediately. Oh. Be f oh. Ah! Find one. Oh, I thought he was gonna shoot I him. Too. <laughs> He's given himself away. Like, have they restrained Cocteau or anything? Mm -hmm. Let's go blow this guy. No. <laughs> Blow this guy away. Whatever. <laughs> I love Sandra Bullock. She's like she's so funny. <laughs> Let's go blow this guy. <laughs> oh, New World. Ah, yeah. Oh, what is that emanation? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Food. food. Real food. Real. Oh. They're actually cooking different types down there. Oh, a burger. Oh. I was wondering if we'd get to see a burger in this movie. I think I'm oh. going to be sick. Oh, oh God. Uh, <laughs> this is fantastic. You guys got to try this. What about some ketchup and mustard or some pickles? Do you see any cows around here, Detective? Okay, yes, that's the carne. Esta carne es de rata. Oh, God. Rat. Right. This is a red burger. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I've suddenly lost my appetite. Ugh. He doesn't even care. He's like, it's not that bad. Meat is meat. Oh, that's a nice car. He's like, hell yeah. Now that's a thing of beauty. Oh, yeah. We're looking for a murder death killer. Can you help or just bully us with your primitive weapons? <laughs> Sassy. Well, maybe they're not so primitive. Huh? So you think you're taking me in, huh? Guess what? Not happening. You tell Cocteau he can kiss my ass. Nice! He's like, that's my people. <laughs> I guess you weren't part of the Cocteau plan. Greed? Deception? Abuse of power? That's no plan. Agreed. That's why everybody's down here? You got that right. According to Cocteau's plan, I'm the enemy. <gasps> that's the guy! Yes! Yes! Oh my god! Hello! This is the good guy that he needs to kill. That, well, that uh, Wesley Snipes is trying to kill, yes. Hmm. This guy's a certifiable nightmare. Yep. And that's why you're down here? Yeah. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Ho, ho, ho. Two for the price of one. Let's take him, boys. Oh, God. Too easy. Good thing that they have terrible aim right now. Yeah. That went on too easy. That thing's insane. Yeah. I'll be goddamn like a New York cockroach. Like a New York cockroach. Oh, good aim. Ouch. Oh my god. I go out. I go out. Why you did you think that you would sit work? There, you sit there and you see these guys, what they're capable of, what they're doing, and you think that's going to help you. How oh, nice. Must have been expecting me. It's kind of silly that, like, literally anyone can drive. I should have an override code. I don't want other people driving my car. Wow. Oh, they got a better oh, car. Oh, yeah. They got a better car. Let's go. And this one's not controlled. Exactly. This one's, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> oh. I love her. Hey, maybe you, maybe you can. Hmm. Oh. I thought it was had to follow a line. Never mind. Hey, you're ruining a thing of beauty. Auto inflate. Auto inflate. Whoa, that's cool. Wow. Damn. How many times can you auto inflate? I don't know. Oh god, that's hard. Technology is She's so gonna advanced. drive a manual transmission. Should've... Oh no. Oh ah! shit! <gasps> She's adorable. Yeesh. Alright. Uh oh. Oh no, oh no. Oh, thank God he's not very good at aiming in his car. Take that gun. 
closed. Doors closed. Oh, is he gonna get the cool gun? I hope so. Auto drive. Auto drive engaged. Gonna give you a heck of a Oh gosh. Oh. Just you flew apart. Trying to catch me. They were all dead. Told you. Oh, I knew it. Yeah. We called it. Yeah. He didn't kill them. Because he said he thermo scanned. Whoa. Nobody's going to run over him yeah, now. Yeah, but They're like, nice. turn around and get him. He's going to go get his gun now. Self-drive. Unable to execute. Oh, goodness. Self-drive now. Malfunction. Let's just jump out. Oh my. What? <laughs> it just Instead of an off. airbag, it's a bubble. Oh no, it, look, it's bubble like uh, the foam. Peanuts. Yeah. That's <laughs> fine. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, it's a little foam. What the hell happened all of a sudden? This car turned into a cannoli. <laughs> it's secure foam and it saved your life. It's secure foam. Look at you, you're in shambles. <sighs> Don't worry, I can fix it later. All I need is a needle and thread. Uh -huh. <laughs> hey, it's okay. Sewing is very, very useful. It's gotta come in here real like handy at some point. Offensive red alert. Thun batons on. Oh wow! Their boy. Yeah. And while you're doing it, loan me a gun. Loan me two guns. Do we use these weapons of mass destruction against men and women who uphold the law? No, not against we use these you. To shop for groceries. <laughs> That's sad. Take this job <laughs> and shovel it. Yeah? <laughs> Close enough. Yeah. <laughs> shovel, shove, whatever. <sighs> An evil Mr. Rogers. <laughs> Please kill him. He's evil. pissing me off. Please kill him. He's pissing me off. Oh, he can do it. Yes, exactly. He That's why. why. I knew it. Yo! They can do it. He couldn't do yeah, it. Exactly. How are they so stupid that they wouldn't put like the same programming in them. Yeah. Oh. You didn't catch him falling on you. Hit him, hit him. Uh-oh. Oh, nice. Oh, no. Oh. All right, Whoa, get it, girl. Whoa, where'd that yeah. come from? Oh, her studies. Yes. She studied. I'm impressed. <laughs> wow. Good shot. Wasn't expecting that. Her first kill. Yeah. He's access to cryo prison. He's about to defrost the entire multi-life away. Oh, no. Most of them don't like you. Most of these guys don't even like their own mothers. They're bad boys, Huxley. How many are there? Oh, uh, what? Like 300? 80. Oh, OK, OK. <laughs> We're on like 1,000 to 80. <laughs> like, I now understand that under certain circumstances that violence is necessary. <laughs> Good. Ooh. Oh. He's like, I need you to be safe. I hope you understand this. You should hide her in a closet. She might get hurt outside. And 570, 10 minutes. 10 minutes? No. Oh, oh gosh. Come on, dude. You're better than that. A little target practice. What is hey? Oh gosh. Are you purposefully being bad at no, shooting? No, I think, remember it made he, they said it like made their aim a little off. Yeah. Then kick it. Punch it. I love their relationship. Yeah. He's they're that. really fun. Gosh, it's like a lightsaber. Whoa. Oh. He just killed himself. Dang, he's getting his ass whooped. Oh. Oh, something. Look at my Get eyes, it. Son. I'll see you in hell, Max. You yeah. first. That's gonna blow up. 
Oh, gosh. Oh. God, they're so good at what they do, though. Like, they really met their match. Oh, he's he's going to freeze himself in the process. Go! Yeah, jump oh, up! Get up! Ah. Hold it! Hands up! Hold it! Oh! Oh my god! I would never expect that kind of death! Wow! And it all goes boom again. And all the criminals with it. <laughs> yeah, all the criminals are gonna die. You have apprehended the villain responsible for the murder of our beloved Dr. Raymond Cocteau? Well, I wouldn't exactly say apprehended. Let's just say he's history. He's wow. dead. Wow. Why don't you get a little dirty? You will like clean. And somewhere in the middle, I don't know, you'll figure it out. F***ing A. Huxley, I did it for your own good. You're supposed to be a team. We are. Oh. Oh, <laughs> oh my! He <laughs> are all fluid transfer activities like this. Better. <laughs> my. <laughs> the way she said that. What? Really? You couldn't no. give us that? Maybe, maybe. Wait, wait, wait. Are you serious? That's all I wanted to know. <laughs> ah. All throughout this movie, it's been like... I thought, well, this is our chance. This is the answer we're going to get. Two. Nope. Two unanswered questions. <laughs> How do the damn seashells work? Who's his daughter? Who's his daughter? What is she doing? What's up with her? Ah. This movie was a lot of fun. It was. I really, really liked it. Did the way they killed the villain... I've never seen somebody kill some someone like that before. And you need to I'm, watch more movies. I know, <laughs> but like, you've seen something like that before? I have. Yeah, I feel like I have. Yeah, it really? happens. Yeah. I feel like that fight was just I, so. Also, I've been watching right? a lot of Mortal Kombat. Ah, okay, so, okay. Well, yeah. I've seen heads get cut off, but they froze. The guy froze him and then pounded his head off. And I'm like, I've seen frozen people fall, you know? Yeah, yeah, and then they just, just shattered. No, he just chopped yeah. his head off. That's that was, all I'm saying. It's pretty dramatic. I liked it. I did too. <laughs> like, I wasn't expecting him to kill him like that, but I thought, okay, you're frozen, you're done, then it's gonna explode, and that's it. But yeah. that was pretty, like, and the fact that they added the blood inside the frozen blockers, yeah, that was impressive. Uh, yeah, because, like, this movie has an R rating, and I guess maybe for the most part it's language, language because every all the other kills I was like yeah I mean it's, it's fine it was cool but they really saved it for that last one with like the head getting kicked yeah. off and then the, the flesh and the blood coming out it's like yeah it's pretty cool but the movie was so much fun especially watching it now um, and seeing you know because we're like nine years away from the, yeah. the year in the movie and seeing the the idea of what 2032 would potentially be like to people in the early 90s it's just really fun because some of the things it's like yeah and pretty on point yeah kind There's of some things on point and then way off yeah <laughs> all at the same time and you're just like this is too funny it's like it is and like you said it's really trippy watching yeah. it it's so much fun as well and you just kind of you know some of the things are a little bit scary especially mm -hmm. with what what they're talking about with yeah. you know control and the robots and like the lack of free will and and also just kind of the policing of human bodies and you know we don't we don't have children anymore or because it's all controlled by the society and you know abortion all of that and it's like yeah we might get we we're might get it there. there yeah we're, we're on the way we're well on the way and that's and that's kind of scary but yeah it's just it's fun just to, to see it's interesting to see how close they got from like being so far away yeah you know and it's almost like i want to know how they did that but i also i'm like huh interesting because they always you, what do we say there's always films always tell the future well you yeah know, like especially a lot of the times in sci-fi you know sci-fi mm -hmm. has managed to predict uh, a lot of things and i think it's kind of probably you know, something to do with collective consciousness and, and just kind of people mm -hmm. predicting the way things might go or being or showing us what we want to see in the future. And so sci-fi, I would argue that maybe sci-fi 
inspires people to then create these things you know what mm -hmm. i mean because we see it in the in the movies and tv shows Someone then wants, we create yeah. them and then it's like it's like a circle that feeds itself that's what i think i have anyway. a friend who he always tells me um films are like they're almost giving you a heads up to show you what's what's to come next yeah you know they're like almost like leading the way so by the time it gets there you're kind of like oh i've seen this and it it's it like kind of eases you in. Yeah, little, yeah, yeah. Although it's just it, interesting. It's kind of disturbing when you watch stuff that where things get really dystopian. Then you're like, oh, is yeah. this where we're headed? In, yeah, and in then the you're future? like, and then it makes you feel like, oh man, the characters are all very fun and like. I want to take back what I first said <laughs> about Sandra Bullock. I had a feeling. I just had this feeling. I mean, she did her job. That I, was her character. You're right. You're I, right. I did feel at first. I was like, oh, this is interesting. It did feel kind of stilted, but I yes. thought that it was probably the character. And and then you kind of see it in the movie, right, where everyone kind of speaks in this. Uh, very super nice way where it's like, yeah. oh, greetings and salutations. Hello. 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 You know, it's like, oh, okay, this is the world. This is the world. And then I did feel that she got better. She like, did. She, she got did. more into she her did. character and it yep. felt more natural yes. as they went along. And yes. she was she was great. I love Sandra Bullock. And I Thanks. especially love her in comedy. I think her yeah, comedic she's, timing she's is funny. so good. Yeah, she's she is really funny. funny. She's really good at that. How funny is it that, that um, what's his name the one that was in um miss congeniality with benjamin it. bratt benjamin bratt yeah. i didn't know they were in this movie together that's that's pretty funny mm. even though and they didn't even see the future coming with the relationship and what uh, how they're gonna grow like as actors and actors i know but it was pretty cool to see him in there i got so excited it was great it was i love i mean because i love miss congeniality as well and so like I had no idea that they had already been in a movie together and who knows if they've been in other yeah, ones before know. Miss Congeniality, but it was just like, oh my God, they're great. And they have history. This is so cool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, but the freezing too, that's pretty kind of, that's like kind of on target too. Oh man, there's so much about this film that I want to break it down so, in so many different ways. <laughs> And I'm sure like there's a lot of you out there that can. You can leave it in the comments and whatnot. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, but I don't want to get too into it because I know then things kind of get a little bit, they can get a little messy. But <laughs> with that, right? Am I wrong? Sure. Yeah. I mean, because there's they there's can a, be. There's a lot. Yeah, depending on like where, where you, you stand. stand and, and, there's a lot. Yeah, because there's a, there's a lot of questions that it kind of raises, but uh, mm -hmm. all in the guise of like a fun sci-fi action and movie. So but like fun. a lot of things that it's showing, you know, where it's you're kind of like okay how much free will do you have to give up yeah. in order to live in a utopian society but there was an interesting thing that Jabby once told me and and so bear in mind that this is secondhand information that I'm kind of re regurgitating off of him so I don't know the original mm -hmm. study or anything but apparently like there was an experiment where they gave rats everything mm -hmm. like it, to basically simulate this like perfect living conditions where it's like you never had you were never hungry like they had all their needs met and after a certain amount of time oh, i've heard of this study then they just it started tearing was, each yep, other apart yep, yep. yeah i've heard of this study yeah and so i feel like in I've some in this. some way it's like it's we need a little bit of chaos yep we need gotta, that in order to survive well everything needs a balance right? yeah everything needs a balance and through history and through the world like we always like there's always something that spikes yep and then eventually it evens itself out. Yeah. And there's always, like, you know what I mean? And eventually, like, you you trade position. <laughs> I know. I know. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm an arm speaker, so this isn't helping me. But your position always will change yeah. for the opposite. And, some, and a lot of times we go too drastic, but we almost need that in order to stabilize and make things even out yeah, all to around. Yeah, find the middle you know, ground. And get that middle ground, yeah. Yeah. 100%. Yeah, so, yeah, this was just a really interesting interpretation of the future, and I always love a good sci-fi. Pair that with some comedy, some some action, great actors doing their thing. I, I really enjoyed Wesley Snipes as well as mm -hmm. the villain. Like, he was... So good. Diabolical. So good. First, he was my favorite, but then the more...
more I started understanding the characters and like the storyline then ever like I started like going all right you're great you're great you're yeah. great you're doing your job and I love the costumes yes the wardrobe the wardrobe, the wardrobe. was so, so good. good I love I just I mean just the even you know the I love the museum too yeah the that museum was, was well. great and the the kimonos were cool um, just like that whole kind of, you know, elite kimono wear, but then also the fun uh, going out costumes that they had in yeah. the in the Taco Bell and even the people in the underground, like everything, the aesthetic was really, really nice. I feel like they went the kimono route, though, because that symbolizes like peace, collectiveness, yeah, meditation. And I think that's why they went that that route. Yeah. Know, because the Asian culture comes from a place of, all right, calm. Let's, let's bring it down. Let's reassess. Like, you know what I mean? There's more like, <laughs> what did they say? Find your calm or something? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I love the ticket thing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like, can't. Yeah. Like, could you imagine every time you say a bad word, it goes, cha-ching, cha-ching. You get a fire. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's like the F-bomb jar. Or yeah. like, you know, the, the, you ever have that in your home? No. I did. And because I would say, I, would, I wouldn't even, my words weren't even that bad. But my mom ended up putting like a swear word jar in the house. And I filled it up for the majority of the time. Because <laughs> nobody else would follow through except for me. Oh. Well, guess what? I found that jar. What did you When do? I was move, packing my mom's house out recently. It was full. There was like... There was about like three thousand dollars in there. You know what I did? I took it back because every dollar that was in there belonged to me. <laughs> <laughs> and I went to my mom. I was like, "Yo!" And the paper on it is this f bomb jar and with like a pink like um, sticky tape to it, and it's all ripped up. I was like, "Taking my money back? Thank you!" <laughs> and everybody in my house just started laughing so hard. And then my um, one of my family members, they were like, "Hold up, hold up! I contribute a, to a few of those." I was like, and I was like, "Not enough." To get the jar, though. That's true. I'm claiming it. I I believe <laughs> that story 100%. Oh, I was the rebel in my family. I, yeah, I believe that. Anyway, this was so much fun. Yes. I'm so glad that I watched this. I am, too. I actually, I'm going to watch it again. Good. Honestly, I liked it that much. Like, I would watch it again. There's some people I actually want to send it to. I'd be like, yo, watch this. Yeah. Watch this, let's watch this because it was, honestly, I authentically enjoyed it. I thought yeah. it was fun. And I think it holds up, like, Today, pretty, pretty well, I you think know. It holds up today too. Even even with all of the references uh, to all you know film, all, the all the old the all the movies and stuff, like I enjoyed them. I thought that was like a really a cute nod, a little bit tongue in cheek. I mm-hmm. I like that a lot. And you know, yeah, it does hold up really well. Which sometimes a lot of these movies, when when you watch them today. It's kind of like, oh, that that feels quite off or yeah. those references just don't really land anymore. But I thought this was done really, really well. Weird. Yeah, this is awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed the journey. And uh, yeah, don't forget to subscribe. Click the bell icon, all notifications and upvote this video if you had a good time. I know we did. And we will catch you next time. I'm Achara Kirk. This is Kristen Stavispino. Ciao. Bye.